Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Sword and Shield video. Today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at a pretty cool deck here. This is going to be an Inteleon control deck using Hammers and Team Yelgrunt. Um, the whole concept behind this deck is we're trying to slow the opponent down. Uh, we're using stuff like Shady Dealings to get us Crushing Hammer. We're using the other Inteleon here with Hydro Snipe alongside of Team Yelgrunt to put two energy back in the opponent's hand. And we're just trying to slow the opponent down as much as we can to win the game. We have stuff like Articuno in the deck. Um, even playing Aerodactyl and Gumi in here. Just a lot of cards to slow the opponent down. Of course, Absol. And that is the whole concept of this deck. It's a pretty weird deck. Uh, it's kind of hard to play. Not gonna lie. It took me some time to actually get used to trying to, you know, play this deck properly. But, uh, yeah. That's the deck for you. And it's a pretty cool deck here. Um, so yeah, before we get the video, guys, shout out to our sponsor, Card Kevin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PC show pack codes, guys, if you're still looking to get yourself sword and shield codes, guys, you can get them over at Card Kevin TCG. At Card Kevin TCG, you can buy, sell, and trade in your PC show codes. Yes, if you have PC show codes that you don't need, you can trade them into Card Kevin TCG for cash or in store credit. So if you don't want to use your codes that you have laying around, you can trade them in Card Kevin. You can also just pick up any other pack codes, of course, sword and shield, unbroken bonds, unified minds codes team up codes whatever codes you're looking for you can get gx codes sleeve codes promo pokemon codes get them over at car cavern tcg if you pick up anything from there guys you can use my discount code code ldf at the checkout which will get you guys a five percent discount on your order to support the channel help yourself out and of course support car cavern tcg in the process so show to car cavern the sponsor check them out and use code ldf so let's take a look at this list so uh when i did my inteleon greninja deck a few days back someone did comment about this deck and i already was working on it because I mean, the idea was out there on YouTube, and I was like, oh, this is a pretty cool deck. Um, and I tried to, build, tried to make my own version of it. So here's my thought process with this deck. So again, we're trying to play it very slow. We're trying to, you know, move the energy from the opponent's active to their hand. Team Yogrunt is not that good of a card compared to Team Flare Grunt, but you know what? It does get the job done. When you combo Team Yogrunt with Hydro Snipe, you do put your opponent into a pretty awkward spot where they'll have two less energy. This is a good deck to slow down stuff like ADP. That is until they just build up a Zacian with Metal Saucer and Intrepid Sword. So at the end of the day, that doesn't really matter. But you can slow them down from doing Alter Creation, which is really good. Um, you can beat a lot of decks. Just And the Henry Brain deck is another good example. So let's look at what I got in the deck. So of course, your main two Pokemon are going to be the two Inteleons we got. Of course, Shady Dealings is a very good ability. Getting you two trainers gets you a supporter, gets you an item card. And we do have this Hydro Snipe Inteleon. I'm actually playing a split of two. Not sure if I like the split just yet, but I do like this guy a lot. We can use Silent Shot and Hydro Snipe to slow the opponent down. Of course, we can combo Hydro Snipe with Crushing Hammer and Team Yelgrunt to put a card put an energy back in your opponent's hand, put two back in their hand, or discard the energy, put it back in their hand, slow them down a lot. Now, this deck might just kind of suffer against Welder decks because Welder is OP, but they'll run out of Welder eventually, so you have that going for you. Um, and we can also, of course, use Drizzle. So we have a lot of ways to find our trainer cards, which is good. This deck doesn't really brick that much, which is what I like about it. Um, I do have some other stuff in the deck. Of course, I am playing Articuno. Uh, it, we have the option to go Cold Crush here, discard all energy from your opponent's active. Of course, if they just have a big Pokemon built up, we can just come in and Cold Crush, remove all their energy off of them. Uh, which is kind of the idea. I am playing both Mimikyu's here. Uh, the reason behind Copycat is we can take, we can use Copycat with Aurora Energy and Counter Gain. This deck does play two Counter Gain because Counter Gain allows you to attack for one energy, so that's why it's in there. We can maybe use Counter Gain and Copycat knock out an ADP if they get an Ultimate Ray off. We can Copycat knock out a Zacian. That's kind of the idea behind this uh, Mimikyu. This Mimikyu obviously just here to beat the Mewtwo matchup. This is really good against the uh, Henry Brand deck. Uh, I am playing a Mew to protect our bench, of course. Uh, and I am playing both Gumi and Aerodactyl. Now, this is kind of controversial, I guess. It's like, why would you have both in the deck? I actually like having the split. The Gumi allows you to buy a turn. You can stick the Gumi in the active spot, you know, kind of yell grant and hammer them while you, you know, get the get the Inteleons in play. And the Aerodactyl is kind of the same thing in the late game when your opponent's maybe low on energy or something and they can't attack you. You can just bring this guy in and you can use Wild Dive. You can use Boulder Crush, of course, with Aurora Energy and stuff. I am playing Absol. A very good card in here. It allows your opponent not to build a retreat. I want to go up to two Absol, though, in all honesty. Uh, I am playing Ditto, of course, to go in Aerodactyl or Drizzle. Uh, going to the items, four Crushing Hammer, of course, alongside those two Team Yalgrunts. Uh, we got four Great Balls and four Quick Balls to find our Pokemon. Yeah, I'm not playing Evolution Incense in here. I've decided against the Evolution Incense. I've just decided to go four Great Ball, four Quick Ball. I don't know if I like it more than whatever, but I'm going to go with it. I can't really find room for the Evolution Incenses either, because every card in here is actually really important. I honestly don't know what I would take out for those cards. I am playing a Great Catcher. Uh, I got an Ornair Rod to get our Pokemon back, of course. One Palpad to get back our Team Yogrunts. Four Quick Balls. I've already went over that. Two Candies. Again, we can use Drizzle, but Rare Candy into Inteleon is still very good. I got a Reset Stamp. 
another great way to win the game is stamp them to a low hand size two switch one chaotic swell i wanted to put a stadium in here and chaotic swell was the best one i could think of because it can stop thunder mountain i got four cynthia three research two team yaw grunts two counter gains one escape board just give something like a lower retreat cost of course something like um mimikyu gumi absol got two auroras and six water energy to round out this uh the intelli i'm gonna greninja this intellion yell deck it's a really cool deck um and uh you play this deck if you play it smart enough you can win games because your opponent can't attack and that's kind of the idea i right, guess get into a game with our intellion deck here we'll see what we're playing against first up against george here looking like he's playing a possible mewtwo deck which is fine we do of course have our Mimikyu this matchup might be a little tricky if they're playing the welder build that's harder to beat deep de can't even talk it's harder to beat because welder allows them to immediately just kind of loop their stuff right they could just go okay you okay you you yell grunt me all right i'm just gonna welder the energy back on you know what i mean it's not gonna be very good we do have a pretty decent starting hand though because we have the Antalion. this can guarantee us a supporter Yep, they are playing Mewtwo. So hopefully we didn't prize Mimikyu. They might be playing Stealthy Hood. They are going first, so they can't do Welder. And one thing we do have going for us is we could maybe move all their Psychics off. If it's possible, discard all their Psychic Energy. We do have Articuno, of course, which could also be very big. But again, if they're playing Welder, which they probably are, if they're playing the, um, the Henry Brand version of this deck, I'd actually prefer that, even though we do have to deal with ADP. Um, it looks like they are playing the Henry Brand build, which... I actually think it's a good matchup for us. I don't think they play Stealthy Hood, and we also get access to stuff like Articuno, which is huge, because they rely on special energy, and they don't have Welder, and without the Welder, they can't just accelerate energy, like, just like that. So I actually prefer this Henry Brand build, even though we do have to deal with ADP, which kind of makes it a little awkward, because they take an extra prize. I feel like this matchup is actually good. I think this is a pretty good matchup for us because they just play nothing but special energy and they don't have a good energy acceleration system for that. Other than, of course, Soul Burst. So this matchup should be pretty good. We'll see. Again, I'm a little scared of Alter Creation. That can get a little toxic, but we'll see. We don't have, I wish we had a Crushing Hammer actually, because if they try to go for ADP here, or I had a Yelgrun, if they do get ADP, which they are gonna go for, we do have to worry about um alter creation next turn so hopefully we can draw a crushing hammer or something or a cynthia just a way to get rid of the energy on this when we get intellion down we should be good even though they do of course have malana all right can we draw something good don't even know why i asked don't know why i asked i'm just gonna hit them for 10 no real reason why i'm doing this other than just to attack them i mean this way it forces them to not to alter creation. Damn it, dude. Our hand was terrible. I really wish we had a better hand because if we had a Yalgrun or a, a Crushing Hammer, we could have tried to prevent them from doing alter creation here. Still, though, I don't think this matchup is bad regardless because, again, Articuno is huge. Um, and if they don't do Soul Burst, we can still run them out of energy pretty easily. So it's not really that bad of a matchup. It's just alter creation makes it really awkward for us because it just speeds up the process of them winning, which is not good. So... Yeah, this is why... Well, actually, they didn't put a... Uh, they actually put a weak energy on, which is not for Alter Creation. They might still do Alter Creation, but we'll see. Oh, they have a DDV. Rip. There goes all their damage. I was going to try to get a Mimikyu here. I mean, we still hit them hard. We can still prevent them from attacking, but then they Malalana heal. <sighs> They're going to knock me out, which is a little annoying. I was hoping they wouldn't knock me out, but I guess it's better than doing Alter Creation. You know, it'd be nice if we could draw, like, an actual, like, relevant card, though, you know? You know, game? Our hand is terrible. Um, I think we need the counter gain and the Cynthia. I really wish our hand was better there. We could have been doing a lot more stuff, especially taking the energy back off. But our hand was just doo-doo. All right, we got Gumi. Let's go do this. There's the Articuno. I don't want to reveal it just yet, though. I might just get Absol here. We can try to buy some time with Gumi if we do get knocked out here. Uh, we could stamp them. I think I'm going to stamp them if they knock me out. We didn't get another Sobble, which is a little annoying. Uh, it doesn't really matter what we hit, obviously. We'll just hit the Xerneas. 
Yeah. Kind of wish we had a quick ball there. If our hand was better, we could have gotten quick ball to get Mimikyu, and then we would have made them find Maulana. But unfortunately, that was not the case. They did have it. Well, there you go. To get rid of a Zigzagoon and a Blastoise. They actually bring in the Ndidi, so they probably have a switch, because, yeah, okay, I was going to say. Because you can't really move it. <laughs> they have a Quick Ball. Okay, they give her another switch. I like that. Especially if they try to do another Malana. We are going to get knocked out, though, which is not good. I don't like that. I don't like it one bit. We need to get 10 damage on them. Oh, no, we can't write Ndidi on. Never mind. <laughs> oh, my God. See, Malana makes this deck a little awkward, too. Literally, though, if our starting hand was a little bit better, I feel like we'd be in a better spot right now. Because I feel like at that point, we'd have two Inteleons in play. Or maybe, maybe not. Maybe they could knock me out with Raticate. I, I really wish we had not I really wish our hand was just better at the start there. I feel like that is honestly kind of biting us. I think I'm about water energy. Okay. it's interesting. And they just massive boom. So here's the issue. They're completely playing around my Articuno also. Nice top deck. I have to discard that now. Alright, we do have Ditto. We didn't get a Sobble, which is annoying. Maybe we do have to go Articuno, but again, like, they have a switch in energy. We just get knocked out by a wow. We just get knocked out by Bowplum. I mean, I guess it's worth it to try. I guess. I would have preferred if they had more energy on, obviously, but whatever. Really need to get those energies back, too. Our hand is completely dead, though. We have no support or no Sobble to even... I guess we can evolve the Ditto. Yeah, I guess we can evolve the Ditto, but still. This hand is still kind of bad, regardless. I mean, we don't really need the Aerodactyl, I don't think, anyways, in this matchup anymore, because we can't use Wild Dive. Yeah, I guess we'll just go research, whatever. I just wish this... Uh, I wish our start was better, because we could have denied them the energy, which is just kind of unfortunate. They could do Soul Burst here. We've already wasted our Cold Crush. Okay, they're gonna chuck away. Alright. We do live the turn, which is good. Drew an escape board. That's, I guess, nice. We can't play it with Articuno, though, unfortunately. I'll have to find a switch. We have to switch in a Gumi here. But then they chuck away, so I don't even know at this point. I don't even know what I'm saying. We're just going to go research and hope for the best. Okay, no switch, which is actually kind of awkward. Um, we, we got three hammers, so that's good. Okay, one head's nice. Could play another one. All right, okay, I feel you. I see you. Uh, not bad. We really need to get a Mimikyu in play, and we need to damage them. So let's go counter gain and pass. Oh, we're out of Inteleon with Shady Dealings, I just realized, because we had to discard the other one there. That was such a bad top deck. One way I could win, though, especially because they're out of Caitlyn Cynthia, we could try to maybe trap something. Uh, with, we could try to trap a Dedenne here, if that's possible. Which I don't think it will be, but maybe. Yeah, I'm just going to chuck away. Uh, if we can draw Ordinary Rod here, that would be am just amazing. Oh my gosh, we actually drew it. What the heck? Okay, well then. Uh, we're going to get back to Inteleon. Which one do I want? Do I want the Hydro Snipe or do I want the Shady Dealings? That's why I hate having both in the discard. I guess we just get back the Shade Dealings ones. I think they're more important anyways. Alright, let's go three for three. Wow. Okay. I have never had Crushing Hammer luck that good before. And perfect. There's the there's the uh, Mimikyu and the Inteleon off the Cynthia. Let's go get this. Get the switch. 
We do have a four card hand, so unfortunately it is pretty likely here. Uh, let's take another Sobble. It's pretty likely that they might have the switch. So we just gotta hope not. If only we were doing 30 damage instead of 20, because they can heal all the damage with the DDV and still attack me. But we've done a good job at controlling their energy. See, this is what I mean. Contr we can control their energy in this matchup, and we're getting there. Uh, this matchup might be still hard to win, to be honest with you, especially because we're out of Crushing Hammer now. But because we have the Mimikyu in play, uh, we just gotta pray they don't have another Malolana. Which they probably do, to be honest. The Articuno being in play is pretty awkward too, especially because they haven't even played, um, they haven't played something like, they could still like solar plant me out of nowhere. I'm really good that this is in the discard because that could just knock this out immediately. So that's actually really good that that Zigzagoon is not in the deck anymore. They could always knock out Articuno and win the game, which is still a worry. They played a Rainbow on, which is perfect because now they can't heal all the damage off. Okay, this, this is going pretty well. Now, we're not knocking them out, so I actually don't know if I want to do the Team Yelp run just yet. No, I think I have to, because I can knock me out with, like, yeah, you know what, screw it, let's go for it. And we'll just keep putting damage on that Mewtwo, of course, just to try to make it so that it can't attack. If 8 HP, we're going to take a knockout next turn. This Mimikyu might win us the game, we'll see how this goes. We'll see. We need to get this other Sobble into an Inteleon ASAP, though. So, we really need to get Inteleon next turn. Okay, they're starting to build up these Xerneas, which is fine. That gets knocked out. I think we will hit... Uh, they, they, never mind, I'm, you know, I was going to say, we can hit. We can keep in the Xerneas now, but of course we can keep healing. There's a Research. Ooh, they get rid of that Grey Catcher, which is a huge discard. Actually, couldn't they have just played it and knocked out Articuno with Raticate? Oh no, right. They, their, their ability shut off. Never mind. What am I saying? Maybe they're out of Malalun after all. They're low on energy too. Three waters though is really weird. They concede. Nice! We won the game! Whew! That was just... I was honestly like, so like, we're not gonna win the game. But... Ooh, 200 coins. But I literally think that Ornay Rod top deck is what kind of saved us there. If we did not draw that Ornay Rod, guys, I feel like we m probably would not have won the game. Because... Well, we also got super luck with Christian Hammer, but that, again, that Henry Brand matchup, I think is like perfect for the deck. Despite having a pretty awkward start, despite um, our starting hand not being as good, we really picked it up there at the end. And as you can see, my opponent just conceded the game and that's how you do it. All right, guys, go try out this Italian deck again here. We'll see what we're up against this time. We're up against, okay, it looks like a Firebox deck. So that's going to be a little tough. Again, Firebox does have Welder, so it's hard to kind of stall the amount of energy, but... Because we're playing a water deck, it might not be too bad. This is where the Mimikyu comes in handy, just because it can hit so hard. Uh, you can sometimes just take a knockout Mimikyu. And we'll see if we can get to that point. We'll see what we're going to be able to do here. Again, hopefully we don't get a bad start in hand. Again, that last game was like, we had, uh, like our start was still fine. It was just we had too much energy in our hand. It would have been nice to get some Pokemon down or something like that. We weren't able to do that. So hopefully our start this time is a little bit more better. And it looks like it kind of is. Still no energy. We do have the counter gain. I'll bench the Mimikyu just to have it in play. So we have counter gain. Maybe we can like Aurora Energy copycat. And yes, yeah, so they have Welder. They have Palpad. Ninetales. Those are all cards that are just kind of hard to deal with. Ninetales is really annoying. Um, Palpad means they just get back those Welders, which means they get to reuse them. So Absol is probably going to be really relevant here to try to slow down any Jirachis. So we'll have to see how that goes. This is where I wish I had more Marnies too. We don't even have Marnie in the deck. This is where I wish I played Marnie in general, just to like Marnie slow them down. But I don't like Marnie in here because it doesn't draw you very many cards. I just prefer to the Cynthia just draw six cards, especially when you're trying to dig for stuff. This deck is a bit of a combo deck. It's one of those matchups where Team Yelvern isn't as good as in that last game there where it was a little bit better. Okay. Um, our hand is not very good. For our oh, turn one, anyways. Let's see what Great Ball gets us. Okay, Italian. If we can draw a uh, rare candy here, that actually kind of works out. It's kind of where I wish I did have Evo Wind Sense. But I would just prefer. I prefer to play Great Ball because it can find you basic Pokemon. That's why I still like playing Great Ball in this deck over Evo Wind Sense. But I can definitely see maybe you guys going down to three Great Balls, one Evo Wind Sense, or two Evo Wind Sense, two Great Balls. 
If you want to do that, you can. I still just like playing Great Ball. Great Ball is fun to play. Uh, we can't get knocked out by a Victini, though, because we don't have energy on, which is actually kind of nice. That 70 HP is pretty relevant here. Okay, speaking of the devil, there is their own Great Ball. Oh, they're playing Snorlax. Oh, my God. That's actually pretty scary. Or maybe not. We do have Aerodactyl, actually. Okay, what am I saying? Yeah, we can just use Aerodactyl here. But the problem is they have Nine Tails, and that's not good because they can just knock out my Ditto with Nine Tails. They probably don't expect the Aerodactyl, though. Okay, they get rid of the Snorlax. Okay, guess we don't have to deal with it. Which is good. I actually would prefer them to use Snorlax, though, just because it can get knocked out pretty easily by Aerodactyl here. They do need four energy on it. We already need... I mean, we can hit it once and then knock it out with Aerodactyl, so that's good. There's a Quick Ball here. They're probably going to get Dedenne, I'm guessing. They could get Jirachi. Okay, they're going to get Heat Ram. That's fine. I'm fine with them using Fire Types, because... As long as they don't have over 210 HP, we can knock them out with Inteleon or 240 HP, sorry. They're going to spread any flames. They only have one energy to discard, so not bad. Can we draw a rare candy? No, we drew our Ditto. I am not going to play that down right now because I do not want to reveal the Ditto because it can just get knocked out by Ninetales, and I'd rather wait. Okay, there's a Drizzle. We'll play that. What am I even going to get here? Still didn't find any energy, I just realized. I could go into Mew here and let Mew get knocked out. Which I'm actually kind of tempted to do, just to conserve a Sobble. Or I can get Quick Ball and get another Sobble. I could also get a second Great Ball. I think I'm just going to go Quick Ball for another Sobble. We don't really need the Mew in this matchup, I don't think, so that's fine. We just want to try to build up as many Sobbles as we can. We could go Crushing Hammer here, which I think I'm going to do. We might as well. We don't really need the hammers that much. And besides, we can slow them down anyways. Make them keep attaching to Victini. Like, I know Sobble's not going to get knocked out, but again, if we didn't get heads there anyways, like I just went 3 energy and 90 damage to knock us out. So this is, this is fine. I do want them to put that Snorlax VMAX in play. That's how we can win the game, honestly. Knock out Victini, knock out Huran, knock out Snorlax with Wild Dive. That's our possible win condition here. Let's see if we can pull it off. This is why I wish I had Evo Incense, because I could have just gotten Evo Incense. They're still going to go for Spreading Flames. They have, I guess they have more energy to work with. It's really good they don't have a Vulpix yet, because this Sob is Drizzle getting knocked out. There's a Water Energy. We can put that there. Uh, we'll play this. I'm going to go double, I'm going to go double Drizzle. I'm going to go double Drizzle. We don't need to use Inteleon just yet. We can't even attack with it, because we whipped that one turn of energy. Uh, what's the best card to get here? Chaotic Swell, maybe? It's not in the deck. Never mind. Could just go Team Yell Run. Make him attach another energy. We could actually get Great Catcher, and we can knock out the Heat Ran next turn. That, but we can do that next turn. We can get Inteleon. I'm actually going to get a Great Ball then and try to get Inteleon next turn. Sure. I would get Great Catcher there and then like go Great Catcher, get rid of Reset, whatever we top deck. I don't want to lose my Reset Stamp because that's probably going to be one way we can try to win the game. Is just try to stamp them to a low hand size, especially if they only have four Wilder as their supporter. So I think that's actually more important. All right, it looks like they're finally going to get a Dedenne here. There's that Snorlax. They could also just get Snorlax if they don't play to Dene, which I'm assuming they do. Okay, they are going to get Snorlax, which I'm fine with. As long as we don't lose our Ditto at any point, Wild Dive will knock out their Snorlax VMAX. Hopefully. We need to already we need to attack them first, though, because they have 340 HP, possibly 390 HP. They are going to knock me out here. So we are going to be ready to lose our Inteleon. All right, see so we draw anything good. Another Water. Come on, Great Ball, give me the Inteleon. There we go. We could actually get this Inteleon instead. How much is Victini doing? Because I actually might get the... The, uh... I might actually get the, uh, double... I might get the Great Catcher. Because... 90, 120. It's only doing 120. They would need a Welder here to... and Yeah, they need a Welder to knock me out. 
They have that. They do have the giant heart though to kind of combo with that though. But they have to commit a lot of energy to Victini, which I'm actually fine with. So let's go Hammer Great Catcher, and then I guess we get rid of the Reset Stamp and the Crushing Hammer. We knock out the Heat Ran. The Heat Ran to me is more of a threat. Uh, I don't want to lose the Grip Reset, but whatever, we'll work without it. Okay, there's the second Inteleon. Probably gonna wait a turn to play. Well, Aqua Bullet, and we are gonna hit the Snorlax V Max for, or the Snorlax for 20, because we get 20 more damage on it, and it doesn't get a uh, buff padding. and three energy will Wild Dive knock it out. See, I mean, I could have not done that, but again, they can just hop burn knock me out. Not to mention, uh, they have to commit the Welder to this, and they don't have the Welder, they only have four cards. But uh, I would have maybe wanted to crush an Hammer and Energy off just to slow them down from being able to knock out my Inteleon. We'll see what they do here. Okay, they probably have the Welder in their hand. They probably got off the prizes. I do want to get that Chaotic Swell, though, ASAP, too. Yeah, they have a Heat Factory. This, they're probably going to find the Welder here, which I'm fine with. We still knock them out. And there's that Snorlax coming down, which, again, will get knocked out by Wild Dive. As long as they don't get a Vulpix to play. And yeah, they're not even going to knock me out here. So this is really, really good. So let's go put that there. Uh, let's go Crushing Hammer. Might as well just slow this thing down. No reason not to. Uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get the Ditto down now. So they don't have a Vulpix in place. So we're probably not going to get KO'd. I'm going to Palpad. Just get back to Cynthia's. I'm not going to play the Research just yet. I'm actually going to hold the hand. And just get 20 more damage on that. So if they do knock me out with G-Max Fall. We just go Inteleon. I really wish I had Evo Incense. Because, ooh, there's the Chaotic Swell. There's Gumi. I don't really need the Gumi here. Because it's not ADP. But, this is kind of where I wish I had Evo Incense. Because I could literally just drop Inteleon. Get Evo Incense. Get the Aerodactyl, Wild Dive, hopefully knock this thing out if they do build it up in one turn. They haven't played a single Welder yet. We have played our Great Catcher, so like if they were to bench like another like Victini or like a Fire Pokemon that we could one-shot, we can't win the game. I mean, we have a few ways we can take this thing down, of course. We do have access to Aerodactyl. We could even use Mimikyu to hit for 210 with a full bench, which is a lot of damage to do to this thing. But we're pretty much going to pray they don't get a Vulpix down. Because I'm assuming... Okay, they concede anyways. They didn't find the Welder. They weren't drawing very well, but... Real slow them down. We do get a Unified Minds pack. Not bad at all. I think we'll open this up and wrap up the video, guys. I think we showed off this deck fine enough. We were able to take out that Mewtwo deck. Despite, again, it was a little, a little rough on the edges there for sure. We still were able to take down that Henry Brand Mewtwo deck. Which, once again, I think is winnable... Thanks to the fact they have no energy acceleration engine and they rely on special energy and they don't have stealthy hood and we get a pretty bad pack. But yeah, I don't think I have any more packs to open up. But yeah, I think we'll wrap the video on the Inteleon deck. I think I showed off the deck pretty well in those two matches. Um, yeah, you get the idea of this deck. Again, if you want to throw in Evo Incense, you can. You could definitely go down, like maybe go two Great Balls, two Evo Incenses. But I just like, I really do like the Great Ball because it just allows you to find more outs to drizzles and stuff but yeah i think this deck probably will need evil incense especially after playing it here um i think it actually is needed so throw in two evo incenses if you want uh we didn't actually get to use this inteleon which is kind of sad but we weren't able to really utilize it but yeah that is going to wrap the video guys on the inteleon team yalgrunt kind of funny stally control deck uh if you enjoyed the video guys drop a like on the video subscribe down below if you're new to the channel help me on the road to reaching 8,000 subscribers or 7.7 say uh 7.7k subs of course check out our sponsor archive and tcg down below too of course use code ldf if you pick up any codes there and follow me on twitter down below too i tend to tweet out decklist early thanks for watching have a good day and bye bye